Hello Stillwater and welcome to this edition of City Beat. I'm Megan Kasak. The Stillwater City Council recently introduced a new program to give Stillwater residents an opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one with their elected officials in a casual setting around the city. The Office Hours program gives residents the opportunity to voice their concerns and ideas at places other than City Hall. Information about when and where counselors may be will be posted on the city's website at stillwater.org or you can find postings on Suddenlink Cable Channel 23 or on AT&T UVerse Channel 99 under City of Stillwater TV. Two longtime employees will be retiring after a combined 54 years of service here at the City of Stillwater. Emergency Management Director Kirk Middlestead has been with the city since 1972, working in the patrol division for the Stillwater Police Department and then moved into the Emergency Management Director position in 2002. Some of Middlestead's other accomplishments include responsibility in developing two multi-hazard mitigation plans, with one currently awaiting FEMA approval. He has also helped rebuild the flood alert system for the Stillwater Creek Basin and increased training and capabilities of SEMA's volunteer group. He's also overseen the updates to the city's emergency operations center at City Hall, which after completion was named as an alternate EOC for the state of Oklahoma in the event of an emergency. Safety coordinator Stephen Davenport has been with the city since 2004, starting in the Stillwater Electric Utility before moving to his current position in the Human Resources Department in 2006. Davenport has worked to build a citywide safety culture program where he reduced the workers' compensation costs by over half a million dollars. We would like to say congratulations to these two men for their service with the city and the best of luck in their retirement. The Stillwater Municipal Pool received an excellent rating by the Oklahoma State Department of Health during its summer inspection. Since the pool's opening in 1973, the Parks and Recreation Department has taken great strides to make the only city-owned public swimming pool in Stillwater a safe and fun place to spend hot summer days in. The rating took into account the main swimming pool, waiting pool, and the concession area. Due to increased demand for more family time in the pool, beginning July 9th, the municipal pool will extend its open swim hours on Thursday and Friday nights, open from 7.30 to 10 p.m., giving guests an extra hour for swimming. That's all for this month's City Beat. For all of us here at the City of Stillwater, I'm Megan Kasak. Thanks for watching.